Hello everybody, so in the next couple of days what we're going to be doing is changing the fish tank and it's going to be this one that is going to be replaced and we're going to be replacing it because this one doesn't have a stand anymore, it doesn't have a lid and overall it just needs updating, it is very old and whilst it used to be very very well maintained we have moved recently and you can see that the plants are everywhere, it's just a bit of a mess to be honest which is a big shame but of course the water is being changed, the fish are being fed and looked after so that's not a concern but we just want the tank to look a bit nicer and to be a bit more new and a little bit bigger so this is the current setup that we've got, you can see that we've got many molly fish in there we've also got many live plants with some floating plants and some ones that are kind of in the, in the soil and yeah, so hopefully when the fish are moved, they're a lot happier in their new environment and this is just going to be a video showing how we transfer the fish from in here into their new home. So that's all for now and let's start building the cabinet. So this is the cabinet box, so what we're going to do is lay it down, open it up and see where we go from there. So from first appearances it looks like an Ikea kind of kit box, so that's pretty good, so it should be pretty easy and straight forward to put together. So these are the nuts and bolts that will be used to put everything together and solidify it in, so it looks like I'm going to be needing a screwdriver, maybe a hammer, but I'll get those in a minute. It's always very helpful when they put the instructions at the very bottom of the box. I do appreciate that as always. IKEA tends to do that as well. Okay, so these are the instructions. It's literally just two pieces, well, two sides of paper. And it shouldn't be overly difficult. So I'm just going to get a hammer and a screwdriver and we'll be ready to begin. So here is our screwdriver and our hammer and we are ready to begin. These instructions are very bad, these are really not very clear at all, so this may take more time than initially anticipated, which is not fantastic, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, this, these instructions really are quite horrendous, so yeah, not, not as easy as I had thought it was going to be. I don't know what this one is, it's like, it shows holes on the picture but there aren't any of that dimension with those holes so I really don't know which one it is. Hmm, I don't know, I will figure this out and come back once it is finished because this is going to take me a very long time may have to wait for some assistance so we will see how it goes i'm sure i'll be able to figure out eventually but this these instructions really are quite deplorable so yeah wish me luck i'm sure it will get done eventually i'll be back immediately for you <laughs> an example of how bad these instructions are is that you can see here of the list of um dimensions it stops at j um, on the back you end up with something that has G and H so they aren't actually on there well G is H isn't so that's not amazing and also G is the base and the top of the cabinet so labeling them as a door is not appropriate so if you do get this tank which is this one Please don't rely too heavily on these instructions, of course they are a good guideline, but I don't think they're correct. So, for example, this one that says number three, where it says F, I actually think that one is G. Uh, so this is actually very confusing and it's not, not amazing. So, yeah, hopefully it isn't too difficult to figure out without the instructions, but we shall see. Another prime example is that the label G is the top here, but then G is a door, so G can't be both. So, um, yeah, we'll see if I can figure this out. 
So as you can see, the cabinet is finally completed. The instructions were as horrendous as originally thought, and I've actually written on the instructions a number of changes, which I will show you now. Overall, it seems like a fairly sturdy cabinet. The door isn't quite level, but that's something that I just need to figure, fiddle with, and I'll figure that out. Uh, the doors are magnetic, so you push them and they open. They don't have a back, which is perfectly fine. Um, so they have this kind of middle kind of partition, which is good to separate both sides, depending on what you want to put in them. And then the other side is very similar. So here we go. So it was very simple once I'd figured out that the instructions were useless. Um, so it seems pretty sturdy, so I have no worries that the tank is going to be perfectly safe on top of it. Um, so yeah, so hopefully once the tank is on and up and running, then it'll be very pretty and it'll be a very nice home for the fish. Hello, so now that we have the new tank in position, what we're going to do is add or like pour in the water from the previous tank and we're just doing that so the fish aren't too shocked when they go into their new home. They're currently still in their little bucket which is fine for now but we don't want them in there for too long so we're going to put the water in, put the old compost in, then put the new soil in and then add the decorations and then put the fish in. So what we're currently going to do is like I've just said put in some of the old water. So when you've only got a little bit of water in the tank like this, it's also a really good time just to check that the tank is actually watertight and that there aren't any issues with the silicon seals around any of the edges. So by the looks of things, this tank is perfectly fine, which is also always a very good start. So we're just going to add the compost and just get going. As you can see the water is basically black but that's fine because that's what happens when you add soil to a fish tank and so what we're going to do now is rinse the fresh soil add that and then we're going to fill it up a little bit more add the fish so hopefully it doesn't get too murky if it does then we'll, rinse, we'll empty some of the water and put some fresh in we don't want it too bad for the fish of course so we're going to go and do that now so I've added most of the substrate, so it's all of the compost from the previous tank and the new substrate. It was only one bag, which is less than expected, but great. And um, you can see it's incredibly murky. So the new plan is to let this settle overnight. The fish will remain in their bucket with the heater and a filter run. So that'll be fine. And then hopefully this settles tomorrow so I can scoop out most of the dust that's currently in the water making it murky and then once that is finished we can continue adding in the water and put in the fish so hopefully it doesn't take too long and by tomorrow evening we should have a fully functional fish tank so we'll be back tomorrow so good morning everybody so this is after a couple of hours where the tank has been allowed to settle you can see that it has cleared quite significantly compared to last night obviously it's still not completely clear but it is getting there very soon and the plan for today is to suck up all of the dust that is currently sat on the bottom of the tank so that and isn't stirred up all the time when the fish go in um, then it will be to continue to add a little bit of water, put the ornaments in place, add the plant, and then we'll add the fish. But of course, before we add the fish, we're gonna to have to make sure the water is up to temperature. We're going to add the previous tank's filter to make sure that all of the good bacteria that are in there are still in the tank and allow it to you know, prevent any spiking of any nit nitrates or phosphates or anything like that. And um, whilst the old t 
filter is running we will also run the new one and we'll leave them both running for a couple of weeks maybe two or three weeks that way whilst the old filter is still supporting the tank the new one will be getting the new bacteria and it will soon be ready to maintain the tank on its own so that is the plan for today hopefully it all goes well the fish are perfectly content in their little bucket they've still got their heater on they've got their filter on so they are perfectly fine and this tank should look very pretty once it is done. I am very much looking forward to it and I will keep you guys updated with what I am doing. So now we have the plants in, the compost in, the ornaments in, all that is left is to add the final bit of the water and then add the fish so hopefully it, it goes smoothly i'm sure it will and the fish should be quite content in their new home so we'll see how they do So this is the fish tank immediately after the rest of the water and the fish have been added. So they've also got some water treatment in there just to make sure that there's nothing weird going on because of the tap water. Um, hopefully they're settling quite well. I've made sure that the temperature is correct for them. They're about 26 degrees. And the old filter is running in one corner. The new filter is running in the other. Um, they'll be on together for about two weeks. And then after that, the new filter will be left to to run the tank on its own. And the reason they're both being on at the moment is to cycle the old filter while maintaining, sorry, is to cycle the new filter while maintaining the good bacteria that were in the old one. So that should also reduce the shock for the fish when they're in their new environment. So it is still very cloudy at the moment. And that is just because the substrate has been stirred up as a result of pouring in the new water. So I'm going to allow, allow that to settle for a little while and once it's clear it will be beautiful and the fish will hopefully be very happy in their new home. So the plants are quite sparse at the moment but hopefully in a couple of weeks they'll start to grow and they'll start to populate the tank properly. It's all very similar at the moment because I need to get some new, new plants but for now they'll do and we'll see how it goes before I buy anything else. So. Thank you for watching the transformation of the old tank into the new one. I will continue to give updates on these fish as they settle in and as the tank matures into an old tank and becomes fully populated with plants and bushes and becomes very lush like a jungle for them. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.